Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. What are your names? Oh, Caitlin. Caitlin and Michael. 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 Greetings, Michael. Yes. Barbara Margin. Yes. And Diana. I have met them before. One moment. I will be fine. <laughs> it always takes a moment to get into the body properly. <laughs> ah, there we go. Thank you. That's what you do in the morning. You wake up and get into the body. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So what are you doing today? And it's open floor. I don't have many clinic questions. Oh. Well, then I will tell you what I am doing. Okay. I am starting my new course in my, on my planet, in my planet, on my planet, wherever you want to say. I am right now still working in the band. You know what the band is, right? Mm -hmm. The band is around the center of the planet where we go after our last curriculum. We go to the band and we work there for a period of time that was chosen by those above us. And um, those above us being the, the technical aspects of the planet. The, we let them choose how much time is appropriate between curriculum for each individual person because we are all different. So I am here now in the band, but I am still able to, to do this kind of work there because what I do there is basically very menial and I just make sure that things are running smoothly. I am a more or less guard of the machinery as it, as it moves along its up, uh, linear movements. And I am preparing for my next curriculum, and I have several choices, so that is what I am doing at this time. So, if there are questions, perhaps I can answer some questions for you. I just found a fine question. What do your people eat? <laughs> okay, that's an interesting question. We do eat, as you know, but not like you eat. We do not have full spreads of meals and desserts and things. We uh, take a supplement and we keep ourselves in chemical balances, whereas your people have problems with chemical balances. So that is our main source of supplement, is to fuel the body with supplements and keep the chemistry of the body in proper order. We do take many different kinds of liquids, and that seems to be the most we do eat some things, mostly at celebrations. This would be your forms of sweets, as you would have it, or things that are not so potentially helpful for the body. But we do daily take supplements and drink much fluids that have vitamins and much supplements in them. Does that answer your question? We do not eat a lot. Okay. We more take supplements and drink a lot. If we eat your food, your food, you will get sick. Well, since we don't have really much food, yes, you probably would get sick on some of it, yes. <laughs> I'm certain. <laughs> Alright, I will read the question. So, Roby, do you, no, no, you know Roby, right? Roby. Roby, from UK. Yes. A DJ from UK. I think he is also, you know, his name is Major something. All right. That's Rawi. Rawi. Okay. I would like to ask about Raelian movement. www.raelrael.org. And Rael, not much as validation. I'm looking for just to confirm my thoughts about or to give another angle on such matters. Rael claims he was 
visited by a group of beings called Elohim, one of which was called Yahweh in 1970s and it's pretty amazing story which he was instructed to write down and it's called the messages he visited a planet a year after and a second meeting and met all the prophets and was told he was last one the last one by the Elohim can you comment on that I'm not sure what he means by the last one but yes, there is Elohim, there is Yahweh, and there they have visited the earth many times, and his messages are very ad adequate and genuine. I'm not sure what he means by he is the last one. I'm not sure what he means. And what planet did he visit? I, I am not w aware of that. But... I can tell you that his messages are very full of inspiration and and uh, spiritual uplifting so and insights that is a good thing yes what dimension are Elohim and they are spiritual dimension they are spirits so they're not physical they're like El uh -huh. El Elohim very similar a different form of the same kind of collective. Ah. But when in the biblical times were they physical? They were physical at once, yes. In biblical times? At some time. I'm not saying at biblical times. I do not know that for sure. Okay. Alright, then we we'll jump to the next question. But I really like the photographs. If you Google our alien movement, the photographs are amazing. They are very hippie-like. It's alien movement is hippies. In good in good sense, European hippies in a good sense, very smiley, very happy. European hippies, I do not understand. Our oh, hippie movement was uh, about seven years ago, 1963. It started in California, and they wear clothes like that, beards like that, and were happy like that. I, I, <laughs> I know. Uh, I oh oh hippie. Okay. All right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I am. Yes. <laughs> like Max, yes. <laughs> All right. Um, but they also smoked, smoked, smoked a lot of stuff, which I don't at the moment. Um, when alien... Uh, next question is by Nick James. Uh, I'm inviting only a general question, not personal ones. When alien... From, from the in written form. When alien DNA is introduced after birth to a human period. How does it become integrated and expressed as a percentage? Three periods. In uh, the other DNA, is, is the other DNA removed or do we just have more of it after yes. the procedure? Or does it, the DNA absorb some of our human DNA? Very good questions. And yes, it, you have more DNA at first. And it, yes, it does integrate. I'm not sure if absorb is the right word, but integrates with your DNA and actually changes it slightly to, so that it can fit with your DNA. And it, um, it changes the patterns of DNA only in the slightest way th so that it does not change physical appearance, but sometimes does change emotional habits and sometimes changes spiritual activity. What other part of that question was there? Basically... Uh, there is tons of questions. Do you want to say something? Yes. I was going to say, when DNA is added after the fact, after conception, and even at conception, there is always someone to watch to see if this DNA has a, a life of its own within that person. To say that, uh, to show any of the whatever species of um attitude personality uh emotions might come through in that little bit of ways a humans and aliens are already somewhat alike but there are certain differences that they look for
Does that make sense? Yes. Uh, specifically, um, are ELO repeats or line one elements affected by alien DNA? Line one elements meaning what? It's the name. Of, it's the name of repetitive element, a transposon. Uh, it's called line one or ELOs. These are main ones. Yes, it can be, depending on their intention for the DNA. Thank you. Uh, next question is, are there any benevolent draconians? Yes, there are some benevolent draconians, but most of them are more... They keep their societies to themselves. They are at one time were not a friendly species to humans because they found humans appetizing. However, <laughs> this was many, many thousand years ago. So they have learned that feeding upon humanity is not something that look, is looked upon as a good thing in the galaxy. But they are now much more in sync with the rules of the galaxy and they do not partake. Does that answer your question? Uh, thank you much. Uh, it is a good answer. Um, next, uh, Hayana, Hahana or Hajana, or Hayana asks, uh, ask about mermaids, mermaids, are they, can they be channeled? There has not been a channeled mermaid. They do not have that element to channel at this time. They are a, they are an Atlantean creature originally, oh. yes. And But since the destruction of Atlantis, they had fallen from their higher spot and had to become something they really were not. So, I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but... I, I know what Atlantean creature is, but some people might not. Can you explain? Atlantis was a continent that was destroyed, a civilization that was far advanced, that f has some fingers in the Egyptian cultures as well, and the Mayan cultures as well. So you you have people that have broken off from Atlantis and gone other places, so you find that they had um, gone other places on the earth and left their marks as well. But the, the advanced Atlantean culture had such a high vibration and was very peaceful and was destroyed by I will not say who, because I do not think that that knowledge is available to you, but um, it was destroyed and was completely taken away from your planet. And you will not find much of it left here, because it was after it was destroyed, they came and disassembled many things and took it away. But... Um, it was a very highly advanced society which mermaids were part of. But now they are a lower creature because they fell into negativity. Let's put it that way. They fell into negative negativity, but they still do exist on your planet, but not in a great amount. I think it's a Karaya comet that who destroyed Atlantis, but I forgot. I think it was Martians in the world. Were Martians the, the ones? You might call them Martians, but they were not from Mars. But they did reside there for a while, yes. Thank you. Uh, now I invite questions from people online. Um, I think Caitlin came very early and um, she would be first in line. Caitlin, do you have any questions to ask? Yes, please do. Give her the mic. Well, my main question is, am I a starseed? Like, do I have any origins? <laughs> we all have our origins, yes. Are you asking if you are a hybrid? 
Is that what you are asking? Or if that you have friends in the galaxy, which question are you asking? Or do you have relatives in the galaxy? Or do you have children in the galaxy? There's many different questions you can pull from that starseed word. And yes, you are. And yes, you've had, in three lifetimes, you have been either, in one lifetime that I can see right now, for sure, you were an alien in an alien culture. And you have very many thoughts about that earlier. You were thinking that you... You must be alien because you do not fit into some of the things that are normal. Do you feel that way? Yeah, I do. A lot. Yes, there was one lifetime which actually was a very happy lifetime for you that you were an alien. I think that this human body now craves for that kind of a lifetime in this world. It will not be the same. However, you do have alien DNA within you and it is Pleiadian. I cannot give you a percentage because I am not accurate with those at this time. That's okay. I'm just, I'm just happy to answer you. Thank you. You're welcome. What, what uh, culture was it alien like? She was Pleiadian. So she has now Pleiadian DNA and her soul has a lot of Pleiadian vibration. Yes. So this is a continuation. I believe when she returned to Earth this time that uh, she requested that it overlap some with her Pleiadian past. And it will in the future overlap a little more. How about kind of children? Not at this time. All right. Um, then I uh, guess Michael turn is if you want to ask any questions. Yeah, um, I would just like to know if I have uh, an alien family as well. If I'm a star seed. You have connections to alien families, yes. You are from. You are family is from the Andromedan area. Planet? There is, yes. Yeah, Andromeda is a galaxy with billions of stars. Right. Yes. You far from the Andromedan galaxy. I feel like I'm um, uh, pretty detached to this lifetime. Um, awesome. That is not surprised. Even, yeah. even in Andromeda. I to be honest with you. I feel like I'd like to be done with it, but that just means that I have a severe disconnection with my higher self, and that I just need to work on that to elevate perhaps my uh, my uh, galactic uh, vibration, and then maybe that will take care of itself. But I'm having trouble with that. There are things that you need to do to energize yourself because when I told you that you were from Andromeda, many Andromedans are very detached from their their very solo solitudinous. I don't know what the word is. Yeah. They're very they're creatures of solitude, but they do have their times when they come together, but they find that they're enriched by the solitude because it, you know, on their planet there are many underlying sounds and vibrational energies that surround their planets, the two planets that they reside in that you would be a part of, that, that actually calm and and make peaceful the soul so that being alone is not such a terrible thing there. They are s s detached from one another, but when they come together, they are very friendly and uh, almost gregarious. I can't say that they're actually gregarious, but... I have a, I have a loving heart, and I'm, I'm yes. very much loved first, but I love being alone. 
Yes. That's essential to have that that contact with others. They can't create situations. They can't grow alone. You Um, yes, you cannot grow. You can grow alone, but you grow better with people on Earth, and I will tell you why. Because of uh, you do not have the telepathy. You do not have the the ability to connect in a way that makes things nourishing. To each other. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Makes sense to me. But you do have connections on Earth that bring the spirit up and bring the vibration up and and cause things to be greater or lesser because you are very intense beings. And in your situation, I can see that you I have a desire to to find something outside of this existence that you're living now, but you cannot possibly know what that is, right? Is that, you do not see that, you do not see the future. You don't see a future. Ah. I've been very recluse the last few years, and I was told by a benevolent reptilian from Capella that there are many fifth and sixth density reptilians that love my energy and that are around me a lot. But I'm full of love, so that and uh, that, that 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 stays on my mind a lot. And um, I'm wondering if I do more meditations, if I do more work, I will then rise to a seventh and eighth, and then be above their sixth. You know what I mean? Yes. That'll take care of me, but that is, I have a hard time um, uh, meditating because I, I, I see, uh, like, I feel too electric inside of me. Being, and being that you're an Andromedan hybrid, not a hybrid, not really, you are just from Andromedan past. This makes total sense that you would be in conflict in Earth because of your... You see what I was telling you about the sensations around the planets there? Those are the things that you are feeling that you're missing in this lifetime as those sensations that, that, that you could dwell on that moves you up through the depression and through the fog that you speak of and you do have talents. What yeah. is your? What do you feel is your greatest talent? Is it music? Uh, to perhaps help uh, those that are uh, more of a coarse nature that have dealt with uh, addictions. I have been an addict, and I've gotten out of that. And I can perhaps help the ones that can't reach you, but that, that are part of our collective. And I'd love to be able to help in some way or another. Um, unfold my wings of glory, so to speak, and to help them. Does this saying this make the fog a little less? Yes, it makes me feel very expansive. You are expansive. Please take advantage of that. Please take advantage of the fact... I'm really, really buzzing right now. Thank you. (laughs) Please take advantage of the fact that your ability to help others cannot be held back by this fuzziness in your head. The reptilians, every person I speak to that is a human and is surrounded by reptilians has fuzziness in their head. Um, Every single one. Every single one. So I must tell you... We're all 25% reptilians. Sorry to interrupt. Now, that's from the beginning of time, perhaps, but... um, not not as a hybrid thing, no. We have much questions about what you really are from the beginning. But, but uh, let me tell you this. There is something within you that you must release. It's this love for others is your basis for growth, for your basis for light and love, and you must get out and find these 
Are you a member of any groups? Um, yes, I'm, um, I go to a methadone clinic. Do you know what methadone is? It is a chemical. Yes, yes. it is given to um, people who get off heroin and very heavy opioid. Like, ah, uh, yes, I understand, you know, yes. Right, and uh, that's, that's what I take because I was a heavy, 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 heavy user. And right now I'm on methadone to control all the past chemicals that I have quit. Ah. I quit everything, so now I'm on this. And it does affect my mood still. Yes. And I feel that I can't be myself to like completely purge of all of the chemicals, but I need this chemical to stay normalized. For well, time. for now. But wean yourself off of it. Let me tell you how you can do... Hold on, one moment. Sutabasitika most. I have sent you some energy. You will find that even though you need this chemical now, please do not stop taking it because of what I'm going to say. You are actually much better than you think. You are much more in control than you actually want to be at this time. And this is a source of a problem for you because you do not feel driven to do anything yet. You must take the energy that is coming to you and transform it into the chemical that you are taking and put it in your body and instead of taking the chemical take the energy and transform it but do not do that yet okay. you will know the time you will know the time but you have the ability to transform yourself off of this dependency because you have a great thing to teach others. You have help to give to others. And with you being on methadone, you cannot help because they will not let you. It is like saying, I am blind, I will teach you how to see. So you must take yourself off. And when you feel the need for these dependencies, bring the energy in and transform it into that particular feeling. Does that make sense to you? Yes, the energy will replace the actual physical drug. Yes, it will. And it will give you the same feelings as the drug did. Because sometimes you need that feeling and you think, you believe that you need that feeling and so you do. For it won't now. Be a placebo effect. It'll be actually, it'll yes. Actually feel it. Yes. So, yes okay. Because that's what you need now, but you will eventually grow away from that when you realize that reality is full of joy, love, and happiness, and you will actually be addicted to life in reality. Awesome. Thank you so much. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Did you understand what I was saying? 100% and, and you put a smile on my face and hope in my heart, so thank you. Yes, do not stop taking your methadone yet. Okay. Not until you feel the energy come within you and that you can transform it. Because I feel it doesn't take... Um, it doesn't work as well as it did in the beginning, and it's not the sort of drug that does that. That is right. So that is why I'm telling you that to take what is that of energy and make it what is that that you need, because that is 
Energy is everything. Everything in the world, in the universe, has energy within it. Does that make sense? And it can be made, and it can be made into anything. Very good. Uh, who is next? I don't see the name, uh, but it, you see, you look a little greenish on the screen. Yes. Hello. <laughs> You're welcome. It's my YouTube account. Okay. Who am I yeah. speaking to? Gabriel. Hey, Gabriel. Gabriel. You are not the angel, Gabriel. <laughs> what? What did you say? You are not the angel, Gabriel, are you? No. Yeah. No. I, ha I have a guardian angel. Yes. Yes, you do. Continue. Yes, I don't know so much about it. Gabriel, if you can ask questions, personal or general, that would be great. I have a counterpart in the Yale sensation. Can you tell me anything about him? I'm not sure I un heard the question. Uh, he has a counterpart from Yael. Yes. Can you tell anything about him? Yes, he is on the spaceship that is around this planet. But he's not in this continental area. He is in the Asian continental area spaceship. Did you know that? I speak to him, he's usually in Hawaii. Shh, he can go there. Yeah. But he is, but he is a member of the ship that belongs to the Asian continent. That is not so far away from Hawaii. Any more questions, Fabio? His name is Vensid. Can, can you tell me what my frequency is? I will, if I can, I will, but if it is not 100% accurate, I will not say. I can only, I go through, I must have double checks on frequencies at this time. You are in the four category, but I cannot tell you exactly four point what. Thank you. Uh, that is a great answer. Any more questions, Gabriel? Yeah. They told me that I could be in two places at once. How does that work? That is what Explore. we call out of body experience or or are you actually in two places or do you go there in a spirit form did they tell you that no they, they said that i can explore being at two places at once but it would be confusing for me as from the beginning usually when you are in two places at once, usually for earthlings, one's, one area is when you are at rest and the other area is when you are exploring or doing other activity outside the body in a different place. Now, there are times when humans have been in two places at once, literally, because of alien Im imposing themselves upon them, but they w they needed to do this for the sake of keeping history correct. And what I mean by that is there, I will give you an example. There was a name, his name was Peel, Italian. 
He needed to see his mother, who was very, very sick. But yet he was 380 miles away or something like that. And he could not get there. Not even in two days. And she was going to die. But he needed to tell her things. And so his body duplicated and was there with her as well as somewhere else. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. There are reasons for the body to separate and be in two places at once. It does not happen without meaning or reason. It does not happen just for fun, as you would say. There are specific reasons, and if they have told you that this will happen, there will be a specific reason for this to happen. Perhaps more than once, but not usually more than twice. At least for earthlings. Have you any more questions? Yeah, I had two beings that visited me in my bedroom. Okay. And woke, woke woke me up right. for five six seconds, and then they disappeared. Can you yes. tell me about them? They were. Did they speak to you? I'm losing. Uh, uh, not vocally. I don't know if I connected to them or not. I believe they were there originally. How long ago was this? Three months. Many years ago. Many years ago. Never mind. That was not an invitation. Uh, one moment, please. Yes, much better. Yes, this was a visitation. They were doing some experiments on you. Ex Experiments. What race was that? <coughs> they were Pleiadians. Good ones? Yes. Did they remind you of Pleiadians? What did they look like? They had big eyes. Yes. And I think they were grey looking. They were grey Pleiadians. Okay. They were the... Wait a minute. But they were the taller ones. I only saw the heads, two heads, and they were very interested in me. And it sounds like they accidentally uh, woke me up. I, uh, that's what I felt, that they didn't, didn't mean to wake me up. But I don't know. They were Pleiadians, for sure. Um, their appearance, was it dark? It was, their, my, room, my room was dark, but yes. they were, had a blue light that yes. kind of went right through yes. them. Okay, that's fine. They were Pleiadians. They did look like greys to you, I'm sure. That's fine. Um, they might have wanted to look like a different species at that time. I'm not sure why they would want to look like greys at that time, but they were Pleiadians that visited you for sure. And um, they are interested in you for many reasons. You have um, a, a psychic ability that uh, has not yet fully been experienced by you. Uh, but are you aware of that? I can uh, communicate with tree spirits and spirits in the forest. But yes. My you, counterpart told me. Yes, you are psychic, and this was an interest to them, and you is still an interest to aliens because they do visit you more than what you know. Well, let me move to the next question. I think it's Ellie. Ellie, are you there? Yeah, hi. Hello. Hello, Hello. Uh, Love and light from me. Thank you. I'm really happy being here and uh, reaching you and reaching all of you guys. Hello and thank you for 
Ving, who you are? <laughs> no, who are you? I cannot see the screen. I am sorry. Uh, my name is Elena. I'm Hello. from Bulgaria. Hello, Elena. This Eastern Europe, the Balkans, very nice. and Bulgaria. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. I'm a, I'm a big fan, as we say. <laughs> Thank you. Do you have questions for me? Yes, I want to know uh, which which are the aliens that are that are flying around the Balkans, Eastern Europe, and uh, my area of living. Is it red orbs, orange orbs? I haven't seen anything. I just want to know as, as an information. The reptilians have been very visual lately with red and orange orbs. They're letting people see them. I'm not sure of their their reasoning behind that. But also, uh, whenever any spaceship that you call spaceship falls out of fourth dimension, it is able to be seen by the third dimension, moves into the third dimension, and sometimes that happens when it touches the edges of your magnetic field, it disables the, it changes the fourth dimension in some way. So, and makes things visible. So, but I am thinking that your People are seeing the reptilian orbs. All right. Uh, do we have uh, Yael or Pleiadians that are um, that are here and watching over our part of yes. the world? Yes. There is a ship from Gurkvignir from ever for every continent. All right. Um, I, I I really want to. I, I feel I have to uh, do something like um, like a meeting of people and explain, of course, people that want to be enlightened yes. and explain and tell them about different aliens, different cultures, and in general, just let them know that we are not alone. Yes. This is the intent of all of us who are off your world to let you know that we are here now it is time for you to know us in a more close way we want you to know us first as personalities from beyond and then we will find the means and ways to become friends and physical friends yes. D does that make f yes. yes and yes for you to be telling others be careful others may find you a bit unusual <laughs> but they, they find me a lot unusual <laughs> <laughs> I am yes. sensing that that yes. makes no difference to you yes, but but I, I had a person that speaks with dead people, so to say. This this person was something like a spiritual teacher for me. Yes. Uh, lots of lots of time, long years. Yes. But uh, I'm I'm interested. Uh, who is this person serving? Is uh, is she serving uh, the 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 grace or? Or some other species. The one who, the one you're speaking of, who channels spirits. Yes. She is not helping the aliens at this time. I but so. she is not helping aliens. But she is helping people connect to their loved ones that have gone beyond. However, let me tell you this. I. I was not quite finished with my what I had to say to you about speaking to others about aliens. Be very careful what you say because you want them to believe. You want them to believe and if you are too f far out they will not believe. You must be very human 
common and personal to them, which you seem to be a very grounded individual. Thank you. I was just giving that... Let me go to the personal question, if it's okay. Yes. I, I, I know I've been visited in my dreams, uh, but um, have I haven't been taken on a ship, on an alien ship, because I dream something like that. One moment, I will check. Thank you. This. Your spirit was sent Your spirit was sent and it was a brief visit mm -hmm. But yes you saw things and you have been visited for the intent of possibly joining one of the colonies If you visit the colonies, let us know. <laughs> send us a postcard. <laughs> yeah, send us a postcard. Um, you, yes. you, you are the kind of person they are looking for for the colonies. I am surprised they have not taken you yet, but they are observing for a good period of time before they do take people now. So, I am... I I have a nine months old baby, and maybe that's why I need to stay here for a little bit more. Uh, yes. My baby is also, I think, a hybrid, but I'm not sure what kind. Yes, you were hoping for a hybrid child. Were you not? And what kind of hybrid child were you wishing for? Oh, Canadian for sure. <laughs> I'm in love with them. You have your wish. language I heard simultaneously something like an alien speech so in it, it's something like in translation I didn't heard there was something very strange I, I heard people talking but in in an alien language what was that you had tuned into the people that were visiting you at that time you were being visited. They were tempted to speak to you, but they did not speak to you. But they might in the future. I hope so. But yes, you were hearing both the translation and the actual original language. Mm -hmm. But they did not quite get to you in your mind. It got to a certain point, and then it, they stopped. Yes. Um, I, got, I got really sick after that. I developed uh, something on my breast, and I had to drink antibiotics for like 10 days. I, got, I had high fever. There was something, a problem with my body after, after this. I don't know what happened, but uh, maybe I got confused. I have no idea. I do not think you, that that was caused by this interaction. Perhaps you picked up a virus, <coughs> but I do not think the communication was the cause of your illness. 
It may see, it may have seemed that it came, the illness came directly after your communication. However, they would not give you such things, and if they did, they would immediately take it away if if they indeed caused it. So I do not believe that that was anything alien. Next time that happens, uh, tell them one way or another. Maybe through a website would be just fine. Or you can email Jim and he would tell them. Yes, I will let them know. Yeah, every time we have things like that, I immediately call Jim and things disappear next day or in the next few days. All right, I will, I will do that. Um, one last question. I'm yes. sorry for taking your time. No, no, it's good, it's good. It's, uh, I just want to ask about the Merkaba meditation. And uh, I am uh, getting a Metatron cube. Uh, get, um, a, a friends are making for me a 3D Metatron cube, yes. which should help me like an antenna for yes. my meditation. Because as this uh, boy, I have also problems with my meditation. It's not so clear. So what do you think about the Merkava and the Metatron cube in general? The Metatron cube will definitely help you. I'm not sure what that first word that you said. Merkaba, Merkaba. Oh, Markaba. Yes. Um, and what did you want to know? Markaba is good. Yes. Yes. Is it is it okay for me to do it? Yes, it's okay. It it is okay, but you must do it exactly the way it's supposed to be. I th I perceive that there is one part of it that you're not doing correctly. Yes, if you do it correctly, you will feel wonderful and get much from it. I will do my best. Uh, well, thank you. I, I wish you love and light. A and blessing to I you. We will succeed. <laughs> we will succeed. You will succeed. We will succeed as well. But blessings to you. And I see that you, they will be visiting you again. So be prepared for that. But having a nine-month-old child does stop them from taking you for even one hour. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. The child has to be at least 24 months before they will take you. Blessings to you. Blessings. Thank you. You are welcome. Um, I just want to catch <coughs> if you have any more questions. I think I sh cut you short and uh, maybe you can... Are you on mute right now? So, okay. I kind of... Like, okay, I kind of do have a question. And it, it's been bothering me for a while. Um... I feel like I'm being observed, like I've been having dreams, and it's fragments, and it's it's really bugging me, because I, I dream really big, and I cannot remember them, and I usually do remember these dreams, and it's, it's been bugging me so much, and I just don't know what to do, like I, I feel like I was helping them last night, or something. You have much visitations. Yes, you do, and... There will be a dream that will come to you that you will remember, and this will bring back some of the fragments that you are not remembering. They will be meaningful in a time in the future, but right now they are not wanting you to remember them until you are able to understand. Because, let me tell you this, when you understand what you are dreaming, that's when you will remember it. Does that make sense to you? The, because you cannot understand what they are trying to tell you right now, you will not remember it. However, I, I know what they are trying to tell you, and it is a good message, and you will get it later. So please be patient. I know it's driving you crazy, you say, <laughs> but um, you will be sane. You will be sane. 
I applied a couple days ago, and it's just amazing how I've been having these dreams. You know, like it's happened so quickly. Understand. Yes, I'm. I'm so glad. <laughs> like, I, I. I don't know. I've been feeling all the energy lately, and I've been watching your guys' videos, and I'm really inspired. And I, especially you, you have a really good energy. <laughs> I just want you to know that, and I really like your work. Thank you very much. I guess I, you are popular now. <laughs> <laughs> I am laughing because it is funny. <laughs> Please share your experiences on our uh, website because what they, what you experience uh, helps others a lot. It is time for me to go though. Blessings to you. You will discover many things about the energy around you, Rick. Yes. Mike. Mike. Michael. You will discover many things about the energy around you. There's another name, Rick, that will discover the energy around him, too. But I'm talking to Mike now. Thank you, Mike. Pleasure to have you. And your, your session today was great. And thank you for not giving uh, uh, numbers where, where I wasn't sure. Blessings to all of you. I must go. Things must be gotten done. Hey, say hi to your friends. Futam spiata skash deep.